Let's do this one instead. Um, uh, o P C L three. Okay, so this is phosphoryl chloride. Um, not something that you need to memorize or anything. But um, hopefully this one makes sense to you. So um, if you looked at this, um, hopefully you would think the phosphorus should be the central atom, okay, because it's period three or below and it can expand its base. So when we do that, draw phosphorus Lewis structure and then draw your three chlorines. And then your oxygen here. So, again, phosphorus is going to expand its valence in this case. Normally, you would only think of it to be making three bonds, because that would fill up its octet. Okay, so there. And then it's going to use these electrons. Okay, so um, I know this looks like there's 90 degree bond angles, but this is just the Lewis structure, and the Lewis structure doesn't give us any kind of molecular perspective information as to the bond angles or anything like that. But, um, so can I erase this part over here? Everybody good with that? Um, so let's go ahead and look at the, how do we determine um, the bond angle? How about that? Do you guys figure remember out the that? Shape first. Well, so we have to figure out how many what? Of electron yeah, density. electron density, groups of electron density. So and how many do we have around four. here? Four. Four. Okay. So when we have four, the electronic structure is going to be what? Tetrahedral. Tetra Okay, and are all four of those uh, electron density groups bonds? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so what would you expect the molecular Tetra geometry to be? Yeah, tetrahedral too.
this bond angle is a little obtuse. Okay. Um, the other thing it asks for is a resonance structure of something like this, right? So how would I do a resonance structure? Remember, resonance is just moving the electrons, not any of the atoms, right? A single one on the oxygen? Yeah, so you would take, so let's erase this one over here. Would take this double bond and move those electrons up there. Remember your double-headed arrow when you're doing it. Remember your resonance arrows? And I guess if you're having a hard time with formal charges, then make sure you use the formal charge calculation. But if you're good at counting electrons, then you can do that. But remember the charge separation there too. Okay. So these are resonance forms of each. Uh, of the same molecule, okay? So this molecule is kind of a hybrid of both of these forms. Um, what would you predict the bond angle to be here? 109. 109.5 would be a good prediction, right? But do you recall, and remember, we didn't, we didn't talk very much about this, but when you have a huge, a big central atom, do you remember what it does to that bond angle? Yeah, it pushes it down a little bit. So you would expect this to be less than 109.5. Okay, that's like probably the, 107 the best. Thing? Yeah, well, not no, that was because of the lone pair electrons. But when you have a bigger yeah. atom, you know, if you want to think about H2O relative to SH2, you know, so like SH2 has a bond angle of 92 degrees as See, opposed to 104.5. So you have the 107 when there's a lone, like if there was. The oxygen wasn't there and there was a lone pair of electrons above the phosphorus? Yeah, then you would expect it to be 107.3. Like okay. if you're comparing it to this structure. And that's the whole like trigonal planar thing? Well, trigonal parameter, right? Okay. It's not technically the same. So you would expect this to be 107.3, this bond angle here. Why? Because you got that valence electron, so it kind of squishes it down. But you should predict that that bond angle might even be smaller because this is a huge central atom, okay. is what I'm saying. Okay, so you'd expect this to be less than 107.3. And probably this one, uh, 109.5, would be a good prediction. But you would think, okay, since it's got a big central atom, it must be less than 109.5. How would you ask a question like that on the test, do you think? I, I mean, like I, like I said, I didn't emphasize it very much. It just thought it would be good to talk about during the video, you know? So I would probably expect you to guess 109.5 on this one. So, are there any other questions on something like this?